competitive soccer when I was in fifth grade, so I think that makes me about, what, I think 10 or 11, and it wasn't a recreational league, it was competitive, so at that age, I started traveling around the United States. I played for 11 years. I was um, a part of the Olympic development program in the United States because I totally had the dream to one day be on the Women's World Cup team in the U.S. I looked up so much to Mia Hamm and Carla Overbeck. I was a sweeper, so defense, which we all know defense wins championships. Sorry, offense. But um, I, I just, I absolutely love soccer. I played for the high school team. I was going to play college soccer. I was also going to play professional soccer for the Arizona Heat Wave. But a week before I was going to sign my scholarship to Arizona State University, I had snapped my tibia, my big shin bone, in half and lost my scholarship. I lost my spot on the Arizona Heat Wave. Plus, I was always a very aggressive player. It's actually funny because my competitive league, my nickname uh, when I was younger was The Rock because how I would take people out. They would always refer to me as Dwight Johnson the Rock. Wrestling came to me, and I realized that's where it's meant to be. Hallsdale, Arizona, Nikki Bella. Her serious injury led to Nikki Bella trading football boots for wrestling boots, eventually becoming the longest reigning WWE Divas Champion in history. But she sees plenty of similarities between the two activities. I have to say, WWE is a lot like soccer. We have our villains, and we have our superheroes, and you have these athletes, you have these soccer players that you look up to, that you pay a ticket, you come watch them play, and they inspire you, and they motivate you. And it's the same thing in our world. We have these characters that inspire people, motivate people, and they make you want to cheer and boo, and it's just like Real Madrid and Barcelona. Another similarity is Gaiska Toquero's goal celebration, who copies a taunt by Nikki's boyfriend, John Cena. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I love that. I don't know why I haven't even seen that before. One, I mean, I think it's absolutely amazing. I think that clip right there shows you not only how huge soccer is globally, but how big WWE is globally. Attending a Classico is something that is on Nikki Bella's bucket list. I actually now very much want to come to a Real Madrid versus Barcelona game because now I'm dying to see Messi and Ronaldo on the same field in person. So if we can make that happen, that would be amazing. Asked to choose between the two, the glamorous grappler opts for Messi. I feel like, well, one, here, Messi, right? He's the superhero. He is, he's your guys' John Cena. And I think, you know, Real Madrid would have some different things to say, but um, they probably are looking at him as the Kevin Owens of the group. But um, I think he's one an amazing athlete. I think he's someone that so many people look up to. I think he has a very intriguing personality that people are very connected to. WWE's Queen of the Ring, Nikki Bella. Hola, soy Nikki Bella. Un saludo, La Liga World.